Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the foundation's establishment. His Highness congratulated His Majesty and expressed thanks and appreciation for his initiative to establish the foundation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and gratitude for His Majesty's support to the foundation at all times and at all levels, which enabled it to perform its humanitarian tasks asks locally and internationally and according to His Majesty's visions. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed honor in leading the foundation to serve orphans, widows and those in need, expressing keenness on making a qualitative leap in the field of humanitarian work by relying on scientific methods and strategic plans to develop services and make honorable achievements. His Highness pledged to exert further efforts to make further achievements and successes in the tasks assigned to him in various fields that serve the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the newly appointed Ambassador of Pakistan to Bahrain, Mohammed Ayyub, at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed that bilateral relations between Bahrain and Pakistan continue to grow at all levels. He also noted the importance of continuing to strengthen bilateral coordination and cooperation for further development and prosperity for the two countries and their people. His Royal Highness wished the Ambassador success in performing his duties, including enhancing cooperation to achieve shared aspirations, noting the strategic partnership that underpins bilateral relations. Topics of common interest and various regional and international developments were discussed. For his part, the ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness, noting His Royal Highness's commitment to, further, for, to furthering bilateral relations to achieve further growth and prosperity for all. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the UK Maritime Component Commander Commodore Edward Algren. His Highness reviewed the cooperation and coordination between the two countries, especially on enhancing military and defense expertise, praising the distinguished historical bilateral relations. The advisor stressed the depth of the effective and growing strategic partnership between the two kingdoms and their commitment to consolidating security and peace in the region and achieving common interests. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the Spanish club CF Cordoba following its latest win in the second Spanish flight. He affirmed uh, ongoing support to the team to help it achieve its objectives. He said that the performances reflect the players' determination, which won them the Federation Cup in the previous period. He said that the club's position at the top of the table provides an incentive to players to give more, wishing them further success. Yes. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended yesterday the concluding ceremony of the 13th King Hamad International Golf Club. The event was held on the Royal Golf Club courses and was organized by the Bahrain Golf Association from November 24th to the 27th with the participation of 90 professional and amateur golfers representing 18 countries. On this occasion, Zana Sheikh Khalid said that the Bahrain Golf enjoys the royal patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which contributed in achievements and excellence in various Gulf, Arab, and international championships. His Highness stressed that the King Hamad International Golf Cup competitions paved the way for golfers in Bahrain towards professionalism in this game through competing with many international players, providing them with more experiences and in the development of their technical levels. His Highness praised the distinguished level that took place throughout the competition rounds and the wide international participation which enhances the leading position of the kingdom on the map of organizing international sports events. During the closing ceremony, His Highness launched a book entitled A Success Story We Tell, which tells the history of golf practice in Bahrain, the origins of the game, the stages of its development and the achievements made in this field at the local golf and Arab levels. The book was written by Abdullah bin Saeed al Kabi and issued by the the Bahrain Golf Association. After that, His Highness Sheikh Khalid awarded the winners. For his part, the President of the Bahrain Golf Association extended his thanks and appreciation to all the sponsors who supported the championship since its launch in 2007, congratulating the winners of the first places.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council and the head of the Parliamentary Division participating in the 143rd Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, the IPU, Fozi Azainal, headed one of the IPU sessions in which mobilizing global parliamentary support to achieve equity in vaccination in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic was discussed. Zainal affirmed that Bahrain provided fair and equitable health care and treatment services to all citizens and residents as part of the kingdom's effort to combat the coronavirus pandemic and an implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King to provide all capabilities and resources to maintain the health and safety of citizens and residents. Zainal expressed pride in the leading national achievement that Bahrain has made in combating the pandemic, which is a result of the efforts of the National Medical Task Force to combat the coronavirus, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She noted that achieving health security for all is the Kingdom's priority and unremitting efforts are concerned inserted between various sectors to overcome the repercussions of the pandemic. She asserted that the legislative branch supports legislation that enhanced the health system in Bahrain. The Representatives Council Speaker Fauzi Azena addressed the IPU plenary session hosted by Spain under the theme of Contemporary Challenges to, de to Democracy, Overcoming Division and Building Society. Zena highlighted Bahrain's democratic and political strides under the reform project led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She was the Speaker stressed the role of the Consul Constitution and National Action Charter as the guarantor democratic practices. She underlined continued coordination between the legislative and executive branches of government, stressing the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on supporting cooperation between the government and legislature. Zainal said that Bahrain, while combating COVID-19 pandemic, did not take any measures to curb the rights of citizens, infringe on their privacy or restrict their freedoms, sparing no effort to protect their decent livelihoods and preserve their economic and living conditions. She urged a multilateral world and and active participation in making decisions, stressing the importance of engaging citizens and their representatives in the democratic process. The Kingdom's parliamentary delegation participated in these sessions of the Inter-Parliamentary Union under the leadership of the Speaker of the Council Speaker Fauzi Azainal. The delegation highlighted the achievements of the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King, especially in the fields of sustainable development, anti-terrorism, technological progress, women's and the youth's empowerment, as well as tolerance and coexistence. The delegation expressed pride in the Kingdom's management of the pandemic thanks to Team Bahrain under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali Al Saleh. The council approved Decree by Law Number no. 19 of 2021, amending a number of provisions of Decree by Law Number no. 19 of 1976 on medals. The council also approved a draft law in Bahrain's joining the Nagoya Protocol on access to genetic resources and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from their utilization to the Convention on Biological Diversity. The council approved a proposal on adding a new article to decree by law 178 of 2006 on unemployment insurance. The president of the Asian Football Confederation and FIFA First Deputy President Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa chaired the Federation's General Assembly meeting virtually, which was attended by the FIFA president and other senior officials in the sports. Sheikh Salman praised the role of the national football and regional federations in developing these sports despite the pandemic and affirmed that opportunities still exist for further development. He expressed optimism for Asian football's recovery from the effects of the pandemic while the meeting. The president of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Jawahar Lamdahki, launched the closing ceremony of the hackathon post-corona pandemic COVID-19 recovery in cooperation with the Bahrain Institute for Public Administration, BIPA, and the United Nations Development Program, the UNDP. Dr. Jawahar affirmed the importance of adopting innovative initiatives as per the vision of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She said that these initiatives are founded on the scientific basis and scientific research 
research in order to face the repercussions and effects of the coronavirus pandemic, stressing on the importance of involving these students in the process of creating solutions to overcome the crisis in a manner that strengthens their national participation and prepares them to take charge of the efforts for the advancement of the country. She added that the university is keen on supporting the government's efforts towards economic growth and investing in the youth in line with the vision of the university. The University of Bahrain is in all its effort trying the, to uh, encourage any cooperation between the university and any institution in the kingdom and even outside the kingdom. Actually, this hackathon is a great example of the cooperation between UOB, uh, uh, BIBA and the United Nations. It resulted in a great ideas actually in how to solve any problem that could have been created after the COVID-19. This, this, these solutions is not just going to stop here or actually this group, we are not intending to have it done. We have problem, we solved it. Actually, we are intending to have this group and create other groups to make some sort of uh, um, consultation whether for the University of Bahrain or any government institution within the kingdom or outside the kingdom to look at the problem that they could be facing currently or future in the future and try to put the best possible solutions for them and uh, give recommendation for that. It's really a pleasure today to uh, celebrate these um, success stories not just as the results of projects, uh, innovative projects, but actually it wouldn't have happened without the partnership between the different organizations. The University of Bahrain, BIPA and the UNDP, we have managed to really bring the best out of the best to think together, to collaborate together, cooperate together, co-design together, and create something which can really serve our country, our nation, our citizens. And this is, I think, where the beauty is all hidden. One plus one is definitely not two. One plus one for us is 10, is 100. And this is exactly what we have seen. We are so proud of those who have reached to the first uh, uh, levels. But at the same time, all of those who have contributed, they all are success because what they have done is not just the final result of today. What they have done, they have now real methodologies able to implement it anywhere, everywhere, to create our futures together.